Hey guys, welcome to Web Coding. In today's lecture, we are going to solve this question, which is remove key details. Okay, so let's read the question. Given string num representing a non-negative integer num. Okay, so they have provided us a string and uh, it's a non-negative integer number. Okay, and an integer k print the smallest possible integer after removing k digits from the number. Okay, I hope you understood this question from the you know statement itself. So let's see the input in a string number it's input and a number k okay and there are some constraints that are uh, the k is is uh, starting from one and uh, you know it's going to 10 to 5 and number num string consists of only digits and num does not have any leading zeros except for the zeros itself okay okay this is also fine okay so let's uh, let you know understand this question that what this question is saying okay so what they are saying is they will provide us some string okay some input is what is input input is a number string number is a string here and a k integer fine so let's take an example okay so let's see let's say they have provided us a number it's a number string which is one five one three two okay and a k integer which is two so what they are asking and what question is saying that if we are going to remove two digits from this number if we are going to remove two digits from this number then please tell us that then we have to give the output of the smallest number okay so let's see now what are the possible cases to remove some digits from this 5132 okay so now what i am saying i'm if i want to i want to remove two digits okay now let's say from the very first i removed five no uh, let's say k is equals to one i just want to remove uh, a single digit and you just give me the output of the smallest number which will which will be getting after removing any of the one digits okay so let's say i'm going to remove five this time okay so i remove five so what i'm getting right now i uh, i will get what i will get one three two okay so i am writing here one three two okay now what if i remove one i'll get five three two okay so what will i uh, what if i remove three i what i am getting right now i am getting five one two okay what if i remove two i am getting what i am getting five one three okay so you can see from here that when i removed five i am getting this one one three two but when i am not removing five i am removing other digits getting this five three two five one two five one three okay so let's take some other example i hope you understood the understood this question and what the question is saying uh, okay i just wanted to you know explain the question to you now let's say k equals to two i just want to now let's say k equals to two if i remove five one what i am getting here i'm getting three two but if i am uh, removing okay i was it five one now so i got 32 okay now what if i remove 32 i am getting 51 but if i i remove this one three i am getting 52 so we just have to provide the output of the smallest of these okay whatever this uh, whatever the possible answer is okay so now let's check it out let's see how we can solve this question okay so now let's talk about this uh, this input only 5132 okay now i was doing what i was starting from here right so now i am seeing five what if i remove five i am getting one three two okay now what now what if i don't remove five but uh, i'm going to remove else part okay so now i'm getting what i'm going to remove one then i'm getting what five some some three two okay now i'm going to remove three i'm getting five one two okay and now i'm going to remove two i'm getting five one three able to observe one thing but what what is happening here see this three two this one two we are not you know uh, dealing with these why because see when i removed five i got what i got one three two but when i am not removing five in what i am getting the uh, the number in 500 range see five three two five one two five one three okay so what i am observing here you can see from here also what i am observing see if i'm uh, i'm just comparing what i am saying that let's say i am talking about five i want to remove it or not okay i'm just going to do now i'm just going to compare the two numbers the first two numbers let's say i'm going to compare it okay 
Now what I am going to do, if I am going to remove 5, then I will get 1, 3, 2. If I am going to remove what, remove 1, then I am going to what, 5, 3, 2, I am going to get the, I am going to get the range of 500, if I will not remove 5. So from this observation, what I am, what I am getting that, if I am comparing these two numbers, the number which is, uh, if initially the number is greater than the other one, then I have to remove 5. Then I will get the smallest number. See, so let's talk about some other examples also. Let's talk about other examples. Let's say my now my number is what 4, 3, 2, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. Okay. Now, now I want to do what? Now let's say I am going to remove. Uh, I want to remove two digits. Firstly, I have to remove one digit only. Na? Then I then I talk about the other one. Okay. Now what if I remove four here? Okay. Firstly, I am watching. See, I am going to watch 4 and 3. 4 is bigger than 3. Then I am going to remove it. Okay. So, I am getting 3, 2, 1, 1. But if now I don't remove 4, I am going to remove other ones. So, I will get some number like this. 4, 4, 4. It's in the range of 4000. I am going to remove 2, let's say. Then I will get again 4, 4, 4. Clearly, you can see from it that 3000 to 1, 1 is less than all these numbers. If I am not going to remove 4. Okay. So there's a condition that if I am checking from the very start, so if the starting number is greater than the other number, the starting number is greater than the next number, then I have to remove this starting number. Then I'll get the smaller number. Okay. So here I got three to one one. Now I'm going to remove, let's say I got the smallest, one of the smallest from these, uh, whatever the possibilities were. Okay. So now I want to remove because K was two. Now I have to remove two digits. So I removed one. Now I'm going to remove the second one. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say I'm going to remove. So I'm, let's say I'm uh, watching what, what can I do? What can I do is if I remove three, I'll get two, one, one. If I don't remove three, I'll get some three, one, one or three, two, one like these. It's in the range of three hundreds, but I got here to what, what actually happening? I am just, you know, comparing these two. And if the first number is greater than the second, then I'm just removing three and you can see from this if i want to remove two digits so what will be the possible answer but what, what will be the possible smallest answer see this possible smallest answer will be obviously yeah, obviously will be what it will be 211 see if i i i have to remove 43 then i'll get 211 just you guys think about this thing and you know uh, see if there are any other possible way i'm sure there is no possible way okay we have to remove 43 and we'll get the smallest output as to one okay so now let's talk about this uh, the approach what we will be doing in this question okay what exactly the approach is okay how we will be doing this question okay so this is the stack model so we are going to use the stack we are going to have a stack and we are going to use the stack to solve this problem okay so let's talk about the number which is uh, let's say five three two 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 and class it's one okay so what I am going to do, see, firstly, I am going to iterate to every character. It's a string. Okay. Remember this also. It's a string. And now let's say I got k equals to three. So what I have to do, I have to uh, delete three digits so that I am getting the smallest possible output, smallest possible uh, integer. Okay. After removing three digits. Okay. So what I am going to do, see. I'm going to push every character, every digit in this stack. Okay. Let's say I'm talking about five. Okay. Now I pushed my five in this stack. You just see first now what we are going to do. See, push five. Okay. So now what I'm, I will be doing is I'm, now I will be seeing the second one. Okay. Now what will I do? I will check if my character, if my, this character is less than the stack stock. Okay, now you can see my stack, what we were doing, we were doing what? We were starting from here and seeing and we were watching if 5 is greater than 3, then we were deleting 5. So now what I will be doing here, I will be checking 3, is 3, is is my stack stop is greater than this character? Yes, it is. That means what? My this character is smallest than. So here I have to delete 5. So I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my digit out. Okay. So now let's talk about the other one. Okay. So I have no options for three. And so I have to push this three. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see about two. Okay. 
so now two is also less than my stack stop okay so again i am going to remove my this three okay so here i am yes so i am going to push this two this two i am going to push okay so now i am going to check about this two okay so my number is what so let's talk about first this thing okay now let's say five three two 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 one was it now so what are the possible i have removed five three we have to remove five three to get the smallest answer okay i have already explained to you this why okay so let's say i have removed four uh, five three so what i'm left to i have deleted two, two digits so now my k equals to one so i have only one option left to delete this so what are the options let's say i'm going to delete this one so what will i get i will get two 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 so what if what if i am going to delete this two or any of the two will get the same answer what will be that answer that will be two two one okay so what is the small smallest is it two two one so what we are going to do if we are getting the same exact same values then we are not going to delete it okay okay so here wo, wo, where were we where were uh, we were here right so we were uh, okay yeah so we were comparing this this two yes we have pushed now we were comparing this one these are equal my stack stop is not greater than the correct so I'm, i have no option i am going to push it out okay so i have pushed this one also again second one now, now i am here now i am checking about this so again i am going to push this now i am here now i will be checking is my stack stop uh, greater than this correct yes it is so i am going to delete this one so again now my k is equal to zero okay because firstly i removed what firstly i removed this five then i removed this three then i removed this two okay yeah so now i have no option left so i'm going to push this one now what i am going to do now my answer is this one two two i got okay so let's talk about this five three three five three two 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 one okay what was the possible answer initially i removed five three because i have to remove because my numbers are greater than the next numbers so now after this i removed this two from the stack so this is my possible answer two two one but my yes my stack is like this only but my stack stack is in opposite way and that means it's storing the numbers in the reverse order so what i am going to do now i just i will be just you know inversing these digits you have to know worry about this thing okay <clears throat> so let's talk about some other examples also let's see if my number was one two three four so what are the possible ways let's say my k equals to two what are the possible uh, what should be the possible output okay i want to delete two digits so what will be that so that i'll be getting <clears throat> the smallest answer so my uh, uh, our algorithm was what we were checking that one is greater than two or not okay so from here i can see one is less than two yes two is less than three yes three is less than four yes so what i will be doing here see who was what actually <clears throat> see so what i was doing here i was iterating from the very start till the end and i was doing what i was pushing every element okay so initially i pushed one fine i pushed one now i am here now i am checking if my two is less than stack stop or not or if my stack stop is greater than this character or it is not so i have no option i am not going to pop this up okay so what are the possible answers let's uh, let's sit and try method i will be getting if i remove these three four then i will be getting answer one two this is the uh, this is the only solution i think one two that means 12 will be 12 will be the answer of this question okay after removing two digits what if i remove two three then i will be getting 14 this is not the answer what if i get uh, uh, i remove 34 okay we are getting 12 what if i remove 12 then i am getting 34 so 12 is the only answer if i remove 34 okay so what i am doing here i have pushed one then i am uh, uh, then i am checking if is my stack stop is greater than this character no so i have no other option i am going to push this i am just popping my character only when when i am getting the my, uh, when i am getting my stack stop greater than the character okay that means i have the greater value so i have to delete that number two make the output smaller okay so now i am at three and now i am checking no my stack stop is less than okay so i am going to push this now i am checking about four so four i have no option i am going to push my four okay so now my stack is like this four three two one but my k is equal to two right now i have 
I have not removed any digit. So what I am going to do here is when I have iterated fully, okay, when I have completed my iteration, after iteration, if my k is greater than zero, after iteration, okay, what I'll be doing, I'll be checking if my k is greater than zero, then I'm going to do what? I'm going to pop my digits by you know top of the stack. I'm going to digit what? I'm going to pop initially four. Three, two, one now. Okay, then I am going to wait. After this, what I am going to do, I am going to delete, I'm going to pop four. Okay, then my, my k equals to one now. Then I am going to pop three. Then my k is equal to zero now. Okay, so from here you can see my answer is one, two. It's in the in uh, it's in the inverse order, uh, reverse order. So we just have to you know reverse it. Then I am going to pop this out, then I get two, then I am going to pop it out, one, but we will be just printing it in the reverse way. Okay. So I hope you understood this uh, explanation. So let's try to code this now. Then you'll be getting better picture of this question. Okay, guys. Okay. So now let's try to code this and see what's happening. Okay. So now what we will be doing here is okay. They have provided us the input, existing and case edit. Okay. So let's say if I am getting input as one, two, three, and if I am getting k equals to three. What will be the answer here? I am going to remove what? I have to remove three digits here. I am going to remove one, two, three. Then I am getting answer zero. I have removed all digits. So the minimum possible answer is zero, obviously. Now, plus, plus one more thing, one more thing that if k is greater than my, let's say the number is one, two, three, and k equals to what? k equals to four. I have to remove four digits. Okay. So I am going to remove three digits. Then what will be the answer? Answer will be zero only. I can't remove four. So so this will be my base condition. What will be it? I'll just it will be just a check. If uh, my uh, a is greater than or equal to my num dot length, then I'll be doing what? I'll be printing here. I'm going to print what? System dot out dot print. Mm -hmm. What? I'm going to print zero and I'm going to return from here. Okay. Yeah, uh, this uh, work is finished. So now my first thing is what I have. We have to create stack also here. Yeah? So yes, we have, we have to create create an empty stack. That is stack and of what of character. Okay, we were pushing characters now. Yes, I am going to create a stack. Here it is. Yes, here it is. So now after this, what we were doing, we were iterating in this string. Okay. And my string is what? My string is nums dot length till I have when I have to till I have to to I have to iterate till its length. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I was here. So I am going to iterate here. So plus one more thing. For, uh, my first thing was what to do. I was going to I was going to push my uh, push my characters. Okay. So stack dot push push what? Whatever my strings character is dot get i okay so now I have pushed here this thing okay so let's now see my conditions here now what we were doing if while while why I'm using while loop you will be knowing here wait firstly let me code then you'll be getting better picture of this okay so my stack dot peak if my stack dot peak is <clears throat> is greater than what my this nums dot get i my character fine if it's greater than this then what i have to do i was doing what i was popping it out okay and i was decreasing my k because uh, my let's say wait let me tell you see i already told you but in this while condition what i am doing let's say my number is one two two uh, two one and I have to delete three digits. Okay, so initially what I am doing here, I am iterating from the very start. So my one uh, here, I am I am here right now. Okay, one more condition is there. That is that is what it is, and my stack size must be greater than zero. Okay, yeah. So see now. See now, let's say my digit was one two 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 one. My string was this, and my k equals to three right now. Okay, so initially what I have to do, I have to push this. Okay, I'll uh, initially for i equal to zero, I'll be not entering to this while loop. Okay, 
because uh, my stack size is not greater than zero right now i have not pushed anything okay so after this i am going to push my this character which is at zeroth index okay so i have pushed one so after the second iteration when i equals to one then i will be entering this and i will be checking if my stack size is greater than or true if my stack speak is greater than nums dot get time which is not which is not so i have no option i have i just have to do what just have to push my element so till i have to push my element till what when i am here also here also because my stack speak is not greater than nums dot get time okay so now what i am doing i have pushed three three twos then what then now i am getting this condition see why my stack size greater than zero and now i am here now let's say i'm talking about this one okay now i am saying if my stack size is greater than zero and and stack speak is greater than numbers dot get dot get right that means what i have uh, my stack speak is greater than my character that is true so i am doing what i am popping this out okay my case equals to two now that's why i'm decreasing my when i'm popping it out that's why i'm deleting it then i'm decreasing my k okay and plus one more condition is also there that is what my k must be greater than zero i don't want to push if my k is equal equals to zero okay because i have pushed all three elements i don't want to uh, push more elements okay so i have pushed this i have popped this one to okay now again i'll check i'll this while loop again will be running because why stack size greater than zero stack size is greater than 0 and my k is also greater than 0 k equals to 2 right now na plus my stack speak is greater than my character also my character is 1 right now okay so this will delete till when till my k is not equal to 0 now i have deleted 2 so my k will be equal to 1 now i will be deleting 1 2 again so my k equal to 0 now and this will this while loop will not run and again it will push the element it will push my character okay so after this uh, my for loop is also finished so i am getting what i am getting my answer as 1 1 and you can see from here if i delete what if i delete three digits see these three i am deleting so i will be getting the smallest answer as 1 1 okay so now let's put this yeah so now i got this thing okay so now i have told you if my if my tag has not popped or my if my k is greater than 0 If my k is greater than zero, so what I was doing k is greater than zero. What I was doing, I was again doing the same thing. Check dot for after the iteration of for loop, because I got no uh, greater number before any number. Okay, so now I'm going to do what? I'm just going to pop it out and I'm going to decrease it. Okay, so let's talk about some test case one, two, three. Let's say and let's say k equals to one okay so what i am let's say k equals to two so what i am going to do here i am initially i am going to push one then this condition will not run because my stack speak is uh, is not greater than the character i am here right now that means one is not greater than two then two will also and three also now my three is not great uh, two is not greater than the stack speak is not greater than the character so three will also push okay so now my this for loop is finished so what will i do then So three twos one. If I am going to remove two character, then what will be the possible answer? My possible answer will be the one. Will be one because after removing two digits, uh, two digits that is uh, two three, then I'll be getting the smallest answer one. If I am going to re remove one two, then I am getting three, which is not answer. So I have to remove two three. Okay. So here this while loop is for this. Now my case equal to two. So I am going to pop one out. Okay. Now my case equal to one. Now I'm going to pop again this out. Now my k is equal to zero. So this while loop will not run. Then now I'm getting my answer is okay. That's why we have uh, we have used this one. So plus one more thing. What we were doing? One, two, three, four, five. Let's say this. Okay. So what was the answer of this one? Let's say k was equal to two. So what we were doing? One, two, three, four. Why we have pushed all the elements because of this while loop? Okay, I'm not going to explain this again and again. Okay, so I am now entering to this while loop. Now I have to remove two elements. Okay, two one and two. Okay, so I have removed what five and four. So that's why I got one two three, and that is the possible answer. Okay, but my stack is you can see in it is in the reverse form. It is if if I am going to pop it, I will get I will be getting three then two then one. So what I will be doing here? I I will be just making 
an array of size of this tag let's say i'm going to make the size of this so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop and i'm going to iterate from the back side back side that means i'm going to pop it out and i'm, I'm going to store it in this array okay then again i'm going to pop it out three i have popped i have stored here okay then i have two i have what i've stored here then one i have popped I'm going to store here okay so this is how i'm going to store it in my character array I have to create a character array okay so character array okay i'm going to new character and what will be the size actually the size okay so this is array now so now i'm going to do i'm going to fill it from the back side so i equals to what my array length minus one i is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus fine so what i'm going to do here is array of i must equal to what stack dot of fine so here here i have got my stack. okay so one last thing is left what we have to do is we have to wait we have to print our character array right so i'm going to do this thing for int i equals to zero and uh, i less than what array dot length okay and i plus plus and i just have to do what i just have to print it out okay system dot out dot print line right not print line it will be print here because we are not giving we are not uh, printing any new line okay okay so one more thing yeah one more thing uh initially firstly let's run this code okay. so let's run this and see if the if all the if yes there is some uh cannot find this symbol which symbol it is num i have used num i'm sorry it is num okay everywhere is fine now let's now run it again uh working okay some condition 19th line no again it i'm sorry let's run this again uh, okay i have used everywhere now i'm sorry here also i have used no. yes i hope now this should work T dot tweak is greater than num dot get i okay so i was talking about here one more i'll we'll be handling these errors wait so i was talking about what what if my stack is like this what if i got answer like this let's say i have this input one zero zero two one and i have to remove two uh, two digits okay so initially what will i do i'll be pushing one and i'll be checking about zero yes zero is uh, less than one so i'm going to pop this one okay i have pop this let's say so i'm going to push zero then i'm going to push next zero because these are equals so about two as you know zero is not greater than two two so i'm going to push two then now i'm here about one so what will be happening here will be happening here that one is uh, my stack stop is greater than this okay this character so i'm going to push this out so now what is the option the option is left is that is i have to push one so now i uh, now my key is equal to one so after this i have to remove my one here okay so now what will happen that my character then i'm going to fill this in my character array. then my character array will, will look like this thing okay my answer will be printing like zero zero but i have to print only zero i just have to avo uh, avoid my initial zero for example let's say my character array was like this Two one two zero zero. Okay, so my correct uh, sorry my stack was like this. So my character uh, array will be looking as what? Uh, it will be looking as zero zero two one. My answer will be like this zero zero two one. But if I am going to print it, it will be printing zero zero two one. But I have to print only twenty one. Okay, so what will be what we will be doing here? We will be counting how many zeros are in start. Okay, then we will be starting my We'll be counting let's say here are two so i am just going to start my index from two and i have to print it okay 
So this was the thing I was going to tell you. Now let's see the error. What was it? Okay, we are using this. So cannot find symbol with symbol. ST dot size k is greater than zero. ST dot peak num dot get a method get in. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, the error was what you know. It was very silly error. So you do you have you also have to avoid this error. What I was doing, I was doing what here uh, I was getting it, but it's not like this. This syntax is for it here. It is num dot caret character right here. Okay, so this is like this caret. I have to use this everywhere. Sorry. It's not dot get i, it's caret. Okay, so I have to copy this and I have to, you know, paste it here also. Okay, and uh, yes, I hope now this should work. Right now, let's run this. Yes, now it's accepted. Let's try to submit this and see if all the test cases are getting passed. Mm -hmm. La la la, it's loading, loading. Okay, some test cases are getting paid. Let's see. Yes, yeah, one, one thing we have left. What I have, uh, I, I, you know, I told you about the starting zeros. We haven't done this thing, that thing. Nah? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count my starting zeros here. So, wait. So I'm going to count my starting zeros. How? I'm going to initialize uh let's say duplicate let's say duplicate zeros or whatever it is. Okay, so I'm going to here check the condition if my uh if what if my array of i must be equal to zero. Okay if my array is like this 0 0 2 1 so when i am here it, it will be getting one my d will get one okay when i am here my d will get two but when i am at the non-zero position it's not zero right now okay so this for loop will be terminating here okay so i have to do what i have to do nothing i just have to increment my d to d plus plus and here i have to start from d so d okay so this was it let's try to submit this again Let's see if all the test cases are getting passed. Uh, it's getting loaded. Yes, all the test cases, test cases are getting passed. Okay, so guys, you have to avoid these mistakes. Okay, also plus plus also if you are having any doubt, please watch this video again. And if you like the videos, please hit the like button and please share and subscribe our channel. Okay, guys. So we'll meet in the next lecture. Bye bye.